and I'm, I'm going to um, describe the objective. The objective of the leadership, which is he is going to present, uh, is to build the skill as an effective leader, uh, communicator and leader. <coughs> the purpose of this project uh, is focus on learning how to manage time and understanding leadership style as well as how to develop and implement a plan. So please welcome Mohsen Raza for his second speech. Dear fellow Toastmasters, I don't know why there's a silence in the crowd and I don't know why we are being so serious. Come on everyone, this is our 800th meeting. Please be alive. Come on, for with me. I'm, after three, two, one minute, I will say, everyone has to respond with me like we are alive. Like I will say, three, two, one, then you say, we are alive. That's how you're going to respond with me. Come on, three, two, one, we, we are, are alive. alive. Oh, you look dead. Come on, from, that, from the last one. Uh, I, it's good to see you, some of the boss. Uh, from the last row, uh, Miss Heba, uh, if you could go, join with me, join me and say out loud with me. And from every cell, your every cell should respond with me. Three, two, one, we are alive! That's how you feel it. You live every moment. You feel you, every, in, in your every cell, it responds with you, it goes with you. That's how you live. You don't want to live in a world where there are dead people who do nothing <laughs> and who, who don't know how to live. Uh, there's an counter over here. Who is it? Yeah. Let me say, ask you one question. If DM Talaha Hamid uh, offers you a job of our counter and he says that I will pay you 25,000 rupees a month and every day you have to do one job is that you have to count half of every person whenever they speak would you accept a job no <laughs> right uh, there is uh, there is another one uh, who is timer who is the timer yeah if if dm talha hamid offers you a job of 20000 would you accept to do the same job ever again and again then i would <laughs> <laughs> All right, if, if the money is good, yeah. Thank you. There are so many people in this world. And but I came across a biology definition, and uh, it says that a person who repeats the same thing every day again and again, just take an example of, he says that there is a typewriter who wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and then he goes to office at 7, and then he start typing pages, 30 times, 30 pages a day. What would you say? He leaves office at five, and goes back to his family. He eat dinner, he eats, he eats lunch with them, no dinner with them. And then he goes back to the bed. He wakes up five in the morning. He repeats the same things and same schedule and routine each and every day. The Stevenson says, that that person is not alive, is dead. Because the growth has stopped. He doesn't know what life is because he has, is, is in his comfort zone. He got stuck there. He doesn't know what's out there. He has stopped challenging himself. There are two types of mind that we usually come across. One is fixed mindset and second is growth mindset. Fixed is the one who doesn't see beyond the wall. If I ask you each and every one, just imagine what is beyond the wall. Everyone being imaginative, everyone will start imagining what's outside the wall. And he or she will do its best that just to think that what's happening out there. But the fixed mindset person will stop each and everything. He said, I'm happy over here. Why should I think about outside? Why should I go outside? I don't have to. I'm happy over here. I'm happy because they are offering me a good salary. Yeah, exactly, I know. <laughs> so if they are offering a good salary, so we, we remain inside our comfort zone. We never challenge our, ourselves. There are two options that every person faces. Either accept a challenge 
or run away from a challenge. If you accept a challenge, new doors open, new opportunities come. If you run away from challenge, then what you learn, you learn nothing. Because you keep running away from difficult tasks and challenges. That's how you remain in your comfort zone. Because you never push yourself. You never hit yourself. Because you, have, you don't have the guts. You are not training yourself to be the best, to go and to live and uh, try different things in the world. What's coming towards you? So to be alive, the main thing in your life is learn how to grow. Learn how to learn different things. Learn how to live each and every moment of your life. And don't stuck there. Just try different things. Be alive and try to learn how each and every day. Uh, uh, Sir Doc says that a leader, every leader who influences his ability to grow is the group leader of his and can build his successful teams around himself. That's the leader who lives, who lives long, and who never, no, who never gave up in his own life. Thank you very much. That's all.